Hello and welcome to PUBG Painting Studios second army vlog instalment for Tomb Kings. As you can see I have almost finished my chariots. I mean in fairness they are what you'd call tabletop standard. Uh, ready to go, you can play a few games with them and you know no one would really have much negative to say in the way of uh, oh you haven't got painted models. But uh, they're not quite there yet, I've got a few extra things I want to do. I'm going to be doing some freehand on the uh, on the front, like on the bits here. Um, I've had I've decided to keep them uh, free of the the gold uh, emblems that you get, and I'm going to do some freehand hieroglyphics at some point. But I just thought I'd do a short video here just to show you how far I've got, as it's been a while since I've posted anything. I have also done a few arches as well. But I'm not going to be posting those straight away because they are just arches at the end of the day. And I'll show you them once they're all done rather than overload you with uh, lots and lots of um, images of arches unnecessarily. So if we go for the first few to start with, uh, subtle conversions... Uh, with the guy at the back, the spearman. And there you can see where I haven't painted the uh, bottom left hand side of the chariots there as well. As I say, they're almost done, but not quite there yet. And I'm going to tone that bright orange down. It's actually blood red. Uh, so, uh, it, a bit too bright for the time being. As I say, subtle conversion here using the, the spearman um, arm from the, the Skeleton Warrior box set. Obviously, you got the conversion over here with the Howler from the Tomb Kings, uh, War Sphinx kit, and also uh, haven't used the the halberd. Again, use spears because the guys are equipped with spears, um, so it seemed more appropriate to arm them. You know, with what they've got in the book. And you got the guy here. Again, use the the guy at the back holding the banner as opposed to putting it on the back. Again, just to do something a little bit different. Um, if we just compare as well these two, all my command models to keep them looking like command models, I haven't given them the armor that you get there. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the armor here anyway, but uh, you know you gotta gotta work with what you're given in the in the kits. So uh, might as well use it to some kind of effect, even if it is just to symbolise um, a bit of rank. Obviously, we've got the archer from the. Tomb King Archers box set. And that's it for the time being. As I say, uh, didn't want to just include the archers here in this video because, you know, they're just archers. Nothing else spectacular about them, really. And it doesn't seem worth just bombarding YouTube with lots of videos of skeleton archers that have been painted. So I shall do the archer updates as and when they are finished but for the moment we just have the chariots the last thing I mentioned as well is the guy here I uh, haven't glued him in because I might use this chariot for a tomb king or a tomb prince at some point so it's nice to have the ability to actually put them in there even though using it as a character mount displaces both the crew I didn't want to have just one at the back kind of falling off all the time so I've glued him in and this guy can balance himself on the front of the, the chariot like that there we go and looks like he's standing up so there we have it that's the, the six chariots I'm using at the moment uh, tend to field them as you see here two ranks of three with the flaming banner let me know what you think of that as a tactic uh, if you field your chariots any differently you think the best way to field it is or if you think they could be um, optimised how they are now so thanks for watching subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video let me know what you think check out my website for more updates, more pictures check out the links below for uh, more detailed uh, project logs and uh, other bits and pieces thanks for watching and stay tuned for more